Now a report from one of the battleground states and to Jeffrey Brown for that. And joining me from Virginia is Kathy Lewis, radio and TV host of WHRO Public Broadcasting in Hampton Roads. Well, Kathy, uh, first thing to say is extraordinary turnout in, in, in Virginia, right? And an extraordinary situation to just have so much attention this late. Boy, no question about it, Jeffrey. This is my fourth presidential election cycle uh, broadcasting here in Hampton Roads, and I have never seen anything like what I saw today. Waits of several hours at the poll that's the polls that's just not a normal circumstance uh, for this region. The other thing that's not a normal circumstance for this region is the amount of attention from the top of both tickets. Uh, Senator Obama came here twice last week, uh, packed 22,000 people into a rally in downtown Norfolk on Tuesday night, returned two nights later to a rally in Virginia Beach, another uh, uh, 20,000 there. And then Senator McCain came on Saturday to Newport News, uh, a little more than 1,000 people for that. So it has been uh, an extraordinary period for this region that's not accustomed, uh, I think, to this level of presidential attention, put now, it that way. Now, you and I met earlier in this campaign when I was down there working on a story in Virginia. I remember at the time you said there was a lot of talk about as Hampton Roads, as that large region goes, so may go Virginia. Now we know as Virginia goes, so may go the whole country. Talk about that. Um, what, what are, as we're all waiting for the, uh, for the uh, results in Virginia, what are you watching specifically for? You know, I'm watching specifically just as a, as a matter of interest in a region like ours where we have the largest concentration of military installations in the country. I'll be watching that military vote. You know, this is an area where the defense industry is critically important to this economy. And the military had, I think, been a pretty reliable voting block for the Republican Party. What I was hearing this time that I have not heard in past election cycles uh, was military people, officers and enlisted people uh, saying that this time they were not necessarily going to vote for the Republican candidate. In fact, I talked to one man on the radio program last week who said that he had been very much on the fence. He was a naval officer who said that it was actually General Powell's endorsement of Senator Obama that tipped him into the Democratic category. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what that looks like uh, at the end of this campaign. And it has also been the source of a, a pretty combative uh, election campaign on the television in the last couple of days. There have been some allegations back and forth between the parties about what each candidate would do with regard to defense spending. It's a very pointed argument that we've just seen shown up here, uh, show up here in the last couple of days. Okay, and briefly, Kathy, one more thing. The uh, race for the Senate, uh, Democrat Mark Warner has already been called. Some notion that, that, that his uh, quick and very easy victory will help Barack Obama in Virginia? I think that'll be very interesting to look at. I don't think there's any doubt that may be the case. I think it'll be interesting to see what happens in the, the, the middle part of Central Virginia and Southwest Virginia, uh, where uh, Governor Warner was very, very popular uh, as a Democrat, and his campaign was, uh, w was certainly one that featured a lot of Republicans in support of him. So it'll be interesting to see whether that support carries over to the presidential race as well. All right. Kathy Lewis in Hampton Roads, Virginia, thanks very much. Nice to see you again, Jeffrey.